baseball next on the show. Jacob DeGrom gets the starting nod for the Mets. What do we need to know here, Danny? Jacob DeGrom is just a solid pitcher. He's not overpowering in any sense with any of his three pitches. Good sinking fastball, 93 to 96, great slider, and a really good changeup. What makes him so good? He'll throw all three of his pitches at Leading any time. The afternoon for Philadelphia. Gene Segura standing in. He begins this one with the fourth best batting Segura. average in the National League. What a terrific season this guy's having. Up near the leaders in batting average, without a doubt the highest average and the best hitter on this team. No balls and a strike to count. These Mets fellas as they take the field here today they come in off a good victory last time out but one that was just their second win in their last eight tries. Hey this is the one big ten. one here Matty you know what D -Row? they're about to head on a nine game roadie one thing they'd like to do get on that plane feeling good about themselves and salvage the last game of this series and this goes right through him and how about that to start a game. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Into the box now, Cesar Hernandez. Really starting to pour now, and the forecast is not showing any signs of a break in the weather. You know, one of the big issues is player safety, and right now this field is getting sloppy wet, Matt, and I don't know how much more rain this field can take. A bouncer up the middle. Lowry on the move. He has it on the first, and here indeed is a super double play. Time now for a glance at the Phillies batting order in this one. Mark what's your take on him against right. one of the best starters in the game. Mark, this is not even a stat you probably would have even looked at 10 years ago. The fact that this team's last in walks in today's game bodes a lot of trouble. They will swing at the rosin bag. Do not expect this pitcher to come over the heart of the plate in any meaningful position because he knows he's going to get a lot of swing and miss. And now Bryce Harper no one on base for him after the double play. Yeah and that that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. It looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance. Well the left fielders on it and that retires the side. Down quickly go the Phillies. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. David Robertson gets the assignment for the rubber match in this series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matt, we're getting a look at a guy that's really dependable. Last three starts, ERA just under 3.00, and that's some pretty good pitching. Minimizes the amount of walks, keeps his hits down, and if he can do more of the same of that, he should have some pretty good fortune in this one here today. Here comes the first pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Harper has a read on it, one away. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. Who's the one to watch, yeah. Dan? Well, Michael Conforto has been a big piece for them. He's really excelled against right-handed pitching this season, hitting over 300 against them coming in. So given the matchup he's faced with here, I wouldn't be surprised at all to see him make some noise at the plate. First delivery to him on the way. Hit on the ground out to short. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And the recovery is too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. Infielders are taught from the first. time they hold the glove that the you've base got base. to play the ball and not let the ball play you. You can see here that this one just ate him up and he couldn't recover in time. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Dan D. Rowe, these Phillies, as they begin play here today, they come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've brought five of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Matty, this is the big one right here. They split the first two games of this series. You want to steal one right here and be feeling good about yourself. Yeah, Dero, I think Batting one of the things four. you want to do, you get to the, the third game. Baseball. You'd like to win this series Number and finish 20. it off by winning game three. It's always nice to win a series, whether it's at home or on the road. So this is a big one for this ball club. Robertson pauses. Here's the first pitch. 
Here's a cold strike about thigh high. Nothing in one. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. As we begin the second in New York, here's Heidi Watney with an update on the weather conditions. Well, Matt, it doesn't appear that we're going to get much of a break from this rain at all as the game progresses. However, I am also hearing that this rain isn't supposed to intensify too much. The grounds crew will be on standby just in case the umpires do call a delay. But the goal is to get this one in uninterrupted. Yeah, Heidi, and thanks. Even with all the technology that we have today to be able to forecast the weather accurately, one never knows what Mother Nature has in store. Hoskins behind to count 0-2. Oh. Hey, I love the aggressive nature this guy's pitching with. He's got focus. He's commanding the fastball. Really being aggressive right now. A lot different than his last start where he took a loss and seemed timid and scared to attack the zone. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Here's that's the defensive it. alignment for the, the New York two. Metropolitans. And I want to shine the light on Ioannis Cespedes, outfielder right here. The ability to play multiple positions in the outfield, both corners, and can dabble in center field as well. And newsflash, people, do not run on this guy. He has one of the best arms in the business. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Ligares is under it, and he makes the catch for the second out. Batting six, the catcher, JT Real Muto. Stepping in, JT Real Muto looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. Ah, had him lunging at that one out of the zone, and that's strike one. Is that gun reading right right there? Because that just registered at 91 miles an hour on a slider. If he's working that pitch, that's most guys' fastballs. It's going to be a long game. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Hit back toward the mound. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Now in the box, Michael Conforto. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in Michael. last night's game. Conforto. Fouled off. Still no balls and two strikes. The 0-2 once more. It's a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So here's how the Phillies are positioned defensively. And today my spotlight's going to shine down on Cesar Hernandez, second baseman who can really turn to double play. He's got super quick feet, great reaction time. Guys love working with him up the shoot. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. You know, from an offensive standpoint, they already knew they had their work cut out for him against a great pitcher. But if he's going to locate like that, this is going to be a tough day. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really sharp out there, guys. Well there. So bases are empty here with two gone. And next is the catcher, Wilson Ramos. 0 and 1 the count. Robertson's ready. Here's the 0-1. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. And all oh, that look to catch him flush down near the foot or the ankle. Fortunately, he's able to stick with it and get the out at first. And that'll put an end to the inning. Mets go down one, two, three. We'll move to the third with no score. So coming to the plate, Michael Franco. He's gone over his first six at bats in the series so far. Michael Franco. First pitch on its way. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Cespedes is there. One pitch, one out. 
Batting so one gone now as we give you a look at where these two Andrew teams find themselves entering McCutcheon. play in the National League's Eastern Division race. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now in previous duels with the Grom comes in with six hits in 23 at bats. He's gone down on strikes eight times as well. Line towards center field. And he's going to make the play over toward his right and there are two away now. Well, we Batting mentioned up. the conditions the aren't pitcher, ideal 30, with the rain coming down, TV. and that can make Robert every play Ford. a little bit of an adventure. You really have to concentrate, and he did there to haul it down. So here now is the pitcher, David Robertson. And Dan, it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No Here's doubt up. about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. Conforto moves over, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Phillies down on just four pitches. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Riding in, Juan Ligares, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Well, you don't need us to tell you it's really starting to come down out there. I can't imagine the umpires will let this go too much longer if it doesn't ease up. Well, you could say that again, Matt. It's raining cats and dogs out there. Make sure you don't step in a poodle. I think it's time to get the grounds crew out. Hit back up the middle. And there's one away. So one away in the inning and it's time to check out the standings in the National League East to see where the Phils find themselves entering play today. So one man gone for the Mets in the third and that'll bring up the converted shortstop from his days at Stetson University Jacob DeGrom. Here's the first pitch to him taken but that catches the inside part of the plate. Mets are still looking for their first hit of the ball game. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. And Dan, that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's such an effective pitch if you can hit the corner with it, but no dice this time. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Misses ball two. The two two one more time. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And he popped him up. Franco in foul ground. And no one will track it down. The 2-2 two -two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Now, I know he struck out there, but for a pitcher, that's a pretty solid at bat. Anytime you can make an opposing pitcher out there work and throw quite a few more extra pitches, that's a quality A-B in my book. J.D. Davis the next to bat. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. First pitch of the at bat. In there. No balls and a strike. Bottom of inning number three. Nothing nothing our score. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Man you find yourself down 0 2 after two great executed pitches right there. Got to look for something up. Might have to tip your hat if he can stay down below the knees like that. Stays alive, still 0-2. Ready with another 0-2. Swing and a miss on the knuckle curve, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Mets. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless.
Stepping into the box, Gene Segura. He singled his last time up. Yeah, Matty, pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. And a half-hearted swing there as he tried to go the other way, and it's strike one. The windup and the 0-1. Uh, had him reaching a thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0-2. After that off-balance swing right there, you find yourself down 0-2 and wishing you were back on deck with the donut on your bat, visualizing hitting a home run. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Opportunity now to look at some of the future plans now, for Pat, this Mets organization as our Road to the uh, Show report spotlights a couple of guys that have been playing very well in recent action. First pitch coming, here it is. And a slider now, runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. The 1 0. Misses ball two. Now the 2 0. Hit hard on the ground at first. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And the effort pays off as he's able to recover and get the second out of the inning. The right fielder, number three. Right. Harper stepping into the box Bryce Harper and the pitch right through it here and he's behind 0 and 1 Swing that time, they'll appeal it down to third. No swing, says Gary Simmons. It's ball one. The 1 1 home is swung on and missed for strike number two. The 1 2. Smoked on the ground up the middle. Gloved by Lowry. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Fair to say? Oh, my goodness. Uh, these folks are not headed for a career on Broadway. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. Jed Lowry now. He comes in 0 for 1 on the day thus far after reaching on an error his first time up. Jake Arietta answers the call from Penn here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Number 49. Jake. The 0 1 on its way. Now a wave and a miss looked like the slider there. He had some really good late action on that slider right there. It's hard to do anything with that pitch unless you're sitting on it and catch it out front before it breaks all the way in. Well, when you're going as well as he is, not even a two-strike count is going to get in your way. Number yeah, six. Matty, he's having a monster season, well over 300. Right there, when you're feeling that confident at the plate, it doesn't matter what the count is. You're willing to go deep and still feel confident. Oh, and one count and the pitch and a little tapper here in front of the mound as this may work as a sacrifice and he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out now batting number 20. So here's the cleanup hitter Peter Alonzo looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat no balls in one strike. Two now as a curveball drops in there for a strike. Let's see if he continues to climb that ladder, or does he try and get him fishing on something bouncing in the dirt?
working for the punch out and the offering fouled away oh man that's a frustrating one as a hitter that pitcher missed right there he did not want to hang that breaking ball with two strikes and you foul it away you have to regroup you're not seeing that again and no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Well, he hit that ball pretty well, but the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. In now, Michael Conforto as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here's a breaking ball but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Here's the 1 1. Hit to short. Segura has it. And the throw just does beat him at the bag so the side is retired. Mets leave one through four. Still tied. Nothing nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I had a chance to catch up with manager Gabe Kapler during the commercial break about the Phillies offense. And he was pretty blunt in saying they're just not having very good at bats. They've only managed one base runner in this game. So it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. Okay, thank you, Heidi. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 1. Well, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. If he's going to have the ability to flip that in there whenever he wants, this is going to be a tough test. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. This is one of the things that makes him so effective as a pitcher, able to pound a zone with all different options. And he chased it in the dirt. Ramos has got it. He'll throw down to first, one away. Now batting. Digging in now for Philadelphia. Corey Dickerson, over one for him here in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And this is popped up near second base. Lowry is under it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now batting. JT Real Muto. So bases are empty here with two gone, and in steps the catcher, JT Real Muto. First pitch of the at bat on its way. High in the air out to center field. Lagares is under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Phillies down in order. Halfway home, still no score. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, during the break, I caught up with Mickey Calloway, the Mets skipper, about his lineup's performance so far. And he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Behind 0 and 2 now. Struck him out. That's his second strike out of the game. I wouldn't be surprised if a coach finds him in the dugout and gives him a little talk about shortening up and putting the ball in play. Good things tend to happen when you do that in these kinds of conditions. Wilson Ramos comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. One ball, one strike, the count. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. No runs, just one hit, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Popped up, Franco over to his left, two gone. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up of the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. Here's Juan Lagares. 
as he's well in front of the curveball and comes up empty there for strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Comes with a slider there as it's lifted down the line and left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Both teams battling the elements thus far, but we've got a tight game through five. More to come on the show Sunday baseball after this. Standing in, Michael Franco. He flew out in his last at bat. This game is rolling right along as we Michael move into the middle innings Franco. with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Strike one to start the at bat. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. Franco is unlike many of today's hitters in the sense that he doesn't have a lot of swing and miss in his approach at the plate. More often than not, he gets contact, and I'm sure that makes him a frustrating hitter to face from a pitcher's standpoint. You know, he takes his chances when now he has that, count leverage, without question. 1-0, 2-0. You'll see this guy try and get nasty a little bit, but he stays within himself. He knows what his strengths are, and he tries to drive the ball right back where it came from. Standing in now, Andrew McCutcheon. As with one away, he won't catch up with the fastball, and it's 0-1. McCutcheon, or just Kutch, as he's frequently referred to, he was a first-round pick back in 2005. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds, and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. This is line to left. And that's a base hit, one for two in his first couple of plate appearances. We take a look at the numbers up to this point. You see he's only given up two hits so far today, so he's been hitting his spots all game long. Remains to be seen if he can keep that shutout intact going forward, but I'm not betting against him. Logan Morrison will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with the runner at first and one gone in the inning. Morrison. McCutcheon leads off first with one away. And boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0-2 now. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. And he fouls this one off. Another 0-2 coming. Ah, uh, had him fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. The got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got Georgia. there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Heading out towards shallow right. Conforto moves over, and that retires the side. Philly strand one. Still no score. Victor Neris enters Jordan. to do the pitching in the bottom of the six. Now pitching for Philadelphia. Number three. Now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here. 0 and 1. Two pitch. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. 
Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this Not one. Bad. The bullpen has the looked sharp and it backed up a nice Get effort deep. turned in by the starter. Get these deep. days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to now keep his it. hands inside the that ball, stay up. square as yeah. long as possible, and well feed it rigged. into the opposite field for a base hit. So a runner at first now with one away, and that'll bring in the shortstop, Jed Lowry. A ball and no strikes. Don't be shocked if he doesn't go right back to that splitter again. He's looking for a double play, and that pitch certainly. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Nothing doing for the Metropolitans. We are still scoreless. Ready once again, Cesar Hernandez. 0 for 2 for him to this point. First pitch on its way. Line drive to center field. Lagares is right there, one down. I know they say the right sometimes that these three. things even out, right. but that was a bullet line drive that gets caught. He would have represented the go ahead run. First pitch of the at bat. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Lagares is under it. Two down. The first baseman, number 17, Reese Hoskins. Now at the plate, Reese Hoskins. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. And boy, this at bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0 2 now. Really tied him up on that one. Yeah, clearly didn't recognize where that was going to end up, Matt. If I were pitching, I might go right back in there. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The next 0-2. Little chopper back to the mound. Scooped up on the backhand. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down. For Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn. 0 for 2 Four, okay. on his line thus far. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Liner toward right center. And that's going to be a base hit. So the possible go-ahead run is on here to start the home half of the seventh. And he will make it in safely. He's in at third as the go-ahead run. The batter. Yeah, everyone Number knows this 20. guy's been having a great year at the plate, but he's not exactly a gazelle on the bases. But he turns on the Jets here and makes it all the way to third. He might need an oxygen tank, but hey, he made it. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. Can't imagine he comes back with a third breaking ball. That hitter looked like he timed that one up pretty well and just missed it, fouling it away. Hernandez is there, one away. The right fielder, number 30. Digging in once again, Michael, Michael Conforto. Good His Porto. career numbers against Hector Neris. He's four for 11. He also has one home run. Oh, he gets a glove on it, oh. knocks it down. Now they will get the out at first, and on top of that, the runner hesitated, the and he's forced fielder, to stay put. Nope. Here's a slider to start things out, but it misses by a few inches or so. It's ball one. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball one and one. He's going to need to shorten up and get that foot down a little bit earlier if he hopes to be catching up to that fastball. Cespedes behind the ball and two strikes. And it's fouled away. The set and the one two. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now, and we.
Digging in now, Corey Dickerson, 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. First pitch of the at bat. Dickerson. Way off balance hack that time, good for the first strike. You never want to take the aggression away from a ball player, but in this situation, I'd like to see the leadoff guy try and work the count a little bit more, especially when his pitcher's missing like he is. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. JT Real Muto. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Boys, we see the pitch count. It's hard to remember the last time we saw a guy pitch this efficiently. Yeah, Matt, it's incredible to watch him go after guys. He's forcing a lot of early contact, and they haven't done a whole lot with the balls they put in play against him. No runs, two hits, and one error in the ballgame for the Phillies so far. And this is swung on and missed to our quickly retired to start inning number eight. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump ahead in the count of 0-2 and number then start seven. working outside okay. the zone. Easier okay. said than done, but that's the way you do it. Stepping in now, Michael Franco. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0-1. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Ani takes something off there and had him way out in front for strike two. The discipline has just been completely absent from this offense. Seems like they're always finding themselves behind the count and, and a big. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire. Here's the catcher, Wilson Ramos. And to start out the inning, it looks like go. they've decided to stick with the same reliever out there, Dan. They have, Matt. I think the way he pitched the last inning kind of inspired that. But it's not uncommon for relief pitchers to have troubles after they sit and watch their guys in the bat a bit. We'll see if he stays as sharp as he was before. One ball, no strikes to count. Here's the 1-0. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's 1-1. One and one. You can't go after that pitch with less than two strikes on you. There's no way you're going to do any damage with a ball executed down and away in the zone. The one two. This is line to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. You think there's any justice in the game? Watch those two at bats. Both of Don't them hit it. on the absolute Take screws. Up. One's right at one guy, You're and then please. one's a single. Go figure. Hitting for the best. Ahmed Rosario. Number Come on, a pinch hit here in a oh, big man. spot. Oh, on the ground is oh, short. Yeah. Could this be two? Hernandez at second. On to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. It's really oh, tough to bad. double up a guy with the speed the that he has. Man. And he was hustling Kingy. all the way on this ground ball. Yeah, so they should be happy they at least got the guy out at second. It'll be interesting now to see if he tries to use that speed again and swipe a bag and get into scoring position. Rosario heads for the plate. And they're going to take a 1 0 lead as the run comes across to score. Dan, you'll take RBIs any way you can get them, but when they give your team the lead in the late yeah. innings, man, that feels good. No, it really. especially does, especially when you start to score runs late in the game off of quality pitching. When runs are at a premium, that's one that makes you feel really good about yourself. 0 oh, 2, the count to Jed Lowry. Davis stands at second with two gone. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. One for the Mets here on the... Jerry Spamilia comes on three. from the pen, hoping to finish now, this one off here ball. in the top of the ninth. Number Rajay Davis is into the ball Jerry. game now as he assumes duties in center Bob field. Delia, a defensive team for the Mets. Now First offering field. on its way. Number 18. Popped up. Okay. Davis calls for it. And he hauls it in for the first down of the inning. He 
batting number 73. Will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. 73. Bat explodes as this has popped up. You know, d -Row, there's been some great pitching in this one so far. After that knock, that's only the third hit of the game, and we're getting late into this one. Yeah, they always say you got to tip your hat to the opposition sometimes. Well, I think this offense is tired of tipping its hat. they got to start to swing the bats a little bit better. That's their third knock of the game. I know it's late, but maybe they can get something going. Set. Here's the 0-1. Uh, offered it a low one there, but came up empty. That's just a great pitch right there. Great execution. He just got that hitter to think that pitch was knee-high. Nasty diving out of the zone. Working for the punch out and the offering. Lined back over second. And that'll get down for a base hit. Now better. Second baseman, Cesar. So next to the Hernandez. plate for the Phils, Cesar Hernandez. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind him because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. McNeil's got it for one on the first, but not in time as he beats it out. Parker. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. Conforto facing back. Gone! And with two out in the ninth, they have taken the lead. So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field as they've taken a two-run lead. I guess the pitchers haven't been talking in the dugout because it looks like they've learned nothing about this guy. He's torched them for four home runs this series, and they're still giving him pitches to hit. Your Fred Brock please. takes over now with two now gone here in the top the of inning number nine. Number 29, Brad Brock. First baseman, number 17, Reese Hoskins. And that'll bring up the Sacramento Reese. product, Reese Hoskins. 0-1 oh, oh, the, the count. Oh, one pitch on its way. Eyes, eyes lit up on that one above the zone, but he comes up empty. Two mid-90s fastballs, and you're down 0-2. This is where you got to take a deep breath and pot commit. You're either all in on another fastball, or you're finding a way to stay back to attack something off speed. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there, and now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at-bat if they want to get back in this thing. But the Phillies use the long... Mike Morin enters the game to finish this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. <laughs> Trying to pick things up where he left off. Jeff McNeil is working on a one for three thus far. Number six. From the stretch. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Swing and a liner. And a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. 
Well, you're usually in this situation looking for a bloop and a yeah, blast. Bad. He didn't want Number a bloop, in, and he hit a missile, bringing the tying run to the plate. Let's see if they can capitalize. Next for the Mets, Peter Alonso. He's batting cleanup, but has been shut down so far at the plate, 0 for 3. Has a look, now the pitch. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. And as Mets fans have heard before, that ball's out of here! Two-run shot to straightaway center as it's now a three-all ball game. Man, you could see the center fielder tracking the ball the entire way. He thought he had it, and he might tell you he should have had it, but he just couldn't bring it back into the yard. Sometimes it's a game of inches, folks. Into the box now, Michael Conforto. Now this right is fielder. hit high in the air out Michael. toward left center. McCutcheon is under it, and that's the first out of the inning. Now batting, the left fielder. Go at it. Cespedes. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Yeah, Matty, he needs to clean it up. He's already got the hat trick. The boys are wondering if the golden sombrero is soon to follow. Got to lock this A.B. in. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Fouled off. Into the corner and slicing foul. The 0 2 once more is swung on and missed. He got him. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely lost at the plate, flailing all over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. In now, Wilson Ramos, who could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Two. two out, nobody on. Popped up. Hoskins in foul ground, but this will land untouched. Again, another foul ball. The 0-2. Here's one hit softly down the line in left, but this is a foul ball. Here's the 0-2. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. But disaster has already struck here in the bottom of inning number nine as two runs come across and they'll have to work a little longer to try and pull this one out on the road. Tenth inning coming up and we are all tied at three apiece. Now to the plate Corey Dickerson. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Left fielder, number 31 Corey Dickerson. First pitch coming, here it is. Committed to that one a bit too soon as it locks him up for strike one. Obviously, it's pretty deflating when you blow a lead in the bottom of the ninth, and now you're still fighting in extra innings. But the fact is, the game is tied, and a win is still very much a possibility, so they have to play that way. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Brock has a good reputation for preventing the long ball. One swing can change the complexion of the ball game when you're coming in late, but he rarely lets that happen. Part of what makes him as effective as he is. Here it comes on nothing and two. That's popped up. Davis into shallow left. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first down of the inning. Now battle. The pitcher. J.P. Real Muto. Stepping up now. J.T. Real Muto. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. Oh. 
grounded to the right. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. The third baseman, number seven, Michael Franco. Ready for another shot now, Michael Franco. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, Matty, big time K last time up, and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. Come set, the 0 1. Swing and a liner. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Up next for Philadelphia, the center fielder, Andrew. Coming to the plate now, McCutcheon. Andrew McCutcheon. There are two gone and the possible go ahead run at first. Here's the first pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Conforto has a read on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. So one will win it here as we go to the bottom of inning number 10. And we are all tied at three apiece. Stepping up to the plate, Rajay Davis, and he's a Where guy looking to Four break men. out in a big way. Hasn't fielder. been getting the results Rajay. he or his club have been hoping for. Yeah, and the first pitch to the 38-year-old veteran is in for a called strike, nothing in one. Now here it comes. Here's a pop-up now. Franco is calling for it, one out. Now batting, the pitcher, Brad Ruff. Ladies Todd Frazier will grab a bat to please. pinch hit here, and you pinch wonder if he'll be swinging for the downs Number trying 21. to walk off with a victory. Ah. Frazier. Hit hard on the ground towards second, and into center field as he's aboard with a one-out single. A nice piece of hitting right there to put the winning run on base. I know there's one out in the inning. They got one more to play with that they could potentially be productive with. But this guy's looking to end this right now and put something in a gap. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. The one and one pitch. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Now the one and two pitch fouled away. Ready with another two strike offering. Liner toward right center and that's in there base hit. Now a long throw to third. And he will make it around as he gets in there at third on what was a terrible throw. The batter number four. That's a nice piece of hitting right there, Dan. He went heater yeah. up in the zone and then tried to drop Whoa, the off speed, but he was on it. Oh, Mark, that's the oldest trick in the book, right? You use one pitch to set up the other. This guy wasn't having any part of that. Pitch popped up. Franco in foul ground, but this will land untouched. Behind 0-2 now. Another one sent foul. Man, he's going to be kicking himself when he goes and watches the video after this one. That's a change up. Two strikes in the wheelhouse. You cannot miss that pitch. And he will take strike three called. And as big an out as you can ask for there as the winning run stays at third with two away now. Here's the first pitch. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Harper is there to make the catch, and that means we've got more baseball ahead. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. And we'll have to cancel those dinner reservations, partner. 11th inning coming up, and we are all tied at three apiece. Your Edwin Diaz please. takes the mound to start the 11th inning. York Number 39, Edward. Yeah. 
Jay Bruce is going to grab a bat now, so he'll be asked to get things started in the top Jay half of the 11. Bruce. Still struggling at the plate with an average well under 200. Five homers and a dozen RBIs. facing his old colors in this one. He came here by way of trade earlier this year. Yeah, Matty, you mentioned he's playing his former club, and that can get tricky sometimes. I don't know if he's going to dinner with these guys after the game, or he showed up here with an ax to grind. Half swing that time, Del Pila down to third. No swing, says Gary Simmons. It's ball one. The one-two. And he fouls this one off. One two pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Cespedes is there. One down. The batter, number two, shortstop, Gene Segura. So the Phillies batting order turns over and set to go. Gene Segura, two hits in four attempts to this point. First pitch coming, here it is. Swung on and hit in the air to left. Cespedes is there. He's got it, and there are two down now. Up next for Philadelphia, the second baseman, Cesar Hernandez. Now with the plate, Cesar Hernandez struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. He pulls this one into right. Conforto is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Phillies down in order. Score remains tied at 3-3. Three to three. Zach Eflin please. takes over now to start the home now, 11, four, and he's four, looking four. to get this one to the Double. visiting 12. Peter Alonso will stand in yet again, and as he does, we flash you back to inning number nine as this was the big blow, a two-run shot that helped get us to this point here in the extra frames. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Strike two. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Oh, man, he's been absolutely getting overmatched at the now plate the last couple of games. So right That's his fifth strikeout right in this series alone. So clearly down. this pitching staff, they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. Into the box, Michael Conforto. Harper looks up. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. And none bigger than that one as this ball game is over. Well, we watched a really solid starting pitching performance, kept the opposition at bay, and as a result, he's our top player of the game. Yeah, he ended up handing things off to his bullpen buddies in the ninth, but still, eight strong innings from him really showed a lot in this one.